Hello everybody, I am Darcy Knight. Welcome to the weekly vlog. I know I'm three days late with this because, well, it was the last week of soccer, so we get that done out of the way. And I had to do some running around. I took today off work to do some other family things. So it's been crazy. So we're, now that this is all done, I have a few things coming up in line and a few other things I want to talk about. First thing, I see that Fallout 4 is coming out here in two weeks. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about buying it. I haven't pre-ordered it yet. I don't know. I I keep looking at it left and right. I love Skyrim on how the open world is, the role playing, and this is sort of the same feel, uh, epicness of gunplay with that design of create anything and go. So I'm looking at it left and right. The part I am kind of upset about is. We don't get any cool bonus perks for uh, PC edition. You know, if you buy the actual version from Best Buy, you get the actual socks and the uh, little poster in the season pass. If you buy the bundle, uh, the PC doesn't have the bundle pack yet. Cause why would I buy Fallout if I can't get a discount on the season pass for the uh, all DLC? Which, you know, Bethesoft, eh, depending on how you say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, get usually come out with three extra DLCs, which adds 30 to 40 hours of gameplay, depending on the mods, depending on the different areas, and altogether, it's it's a great buy to buy their season pass. So I'm just uh, a little bit shaky on that one. Why don't does the PC get it as much as the Xbox and PS4? Yes, I know consoles are sort of locked into one little niche, and there you go. Yeah, so that's why I think they're putting the uh, season pass together for them because it's sort of a locked niche. Now, we are going to be seeing the uh, mods allowed for Xbox One and PS4. How it's going to work, I'm not very sure because uh, that, that's one of those things. It's, it, it's up in the air. It, it's a little sketchy. I, I'm not sure of that. So we'll see how that goes because you know some modder is going to unlock you know, the 16 gigs of RAM for PC, all this other stuff. And then the console people are not going to see that, not going to see the background fixes the uh, modders put in and all that other stuff until Bethesoft comes out with an official patch. So it, it's, it's one of those back and forth things. You know, If you're a console person or a PC person, you guys all know that I play PC primary. Uh, I have nothing against the consoles. No, I don't own a PS4. I don't own an Xbox One. Are they in my future? Money's a little tight right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, so they're not in my future for the time being. The other item I want to talk about is I'm putting together a blog to go with these vlogs, with the website, <laughs> on Facebook, to also go with the YouTube channel. And what I want to do is I'm tying everything together. You guys know that I am a huge gamer and I push to for people to understand the gaming and how it is and how it goes into the life and everything. But the thing is, is I'm a parent too. I work full time. I'm married. I own a home. I have four kids and I still game. So... It's all about you know how you find things and the balance of everything coming all together. So the reason I'm putting together a blog is to actually match in the background stuff that you guys don't see. You don't see me writing the scripts for YouTube, how I'm doing the video editing, how I'm doing this, and just the day-to-day -day things that we run into in life. You're like, oh, that's a great idea, but I don't want to make a four-minute video about it. I think that's better off if I take it as a wordplay and put it up just in words, let people get the idea that way, and then discuss it there. I will be taking suggestions from the blog for these vlogs and discussing different things. Uh, the vlog so far has just been me getting it starting and the ever great saying, commitment, there is no thing, excuse me, <coughs> there is <coughs> no such thing as commitment without dedication and effort. If there is no effort, there is no commitment. <clears throat> so I am trying to commit into getting this blog up and going. I'm trying to get other things around my house to going. So you have to make the commitment to work at it and go from there. <clears throat> so that's one of the articles that are up there. Yes, my writing sucks. I will allow you guys to pick on me for any type of imperfection on the English language that I use. 
the reason I'm allowing this is to show that I am human. I have a education. Yes, I did go to college. Yes, I went to public school. I went to college. I did this. I did that. I did this. But everybody's writing is not perfect. And I'm leaving a lot of the flaws in there. Yeah, I could port it into Word and fix all this, change this around, port it over here. But Word only does so much. And I'm going to leave the errors in there for you guys to point out to me and to show you that I am human like the rest of you. So I'm actually going to leave that link down below in the comment section, along with some suggestions of uh, games and things that I'm looking at for this fall to do on the live stream and to do on YouTube and to do in the discussion board. It, it just tying everything together. That's why I've created the website and I have called it Life of a Gaming Dad on WordPress. I'll leave the link down below. You can come make fun of it or you can spread to your friends of what an idiot I am. So on that note, I will let you guys go. I am going to be emailing some of the uh, gamer dads that I do know for some article ideas. One of them I know is going to be my great uh, how to deal with, you know, what games your kids want to play. Okay. That's an issue we all run into. And the other one is do you have a setup for them? Do you they, they have their own little place? Or do they game on your PC? Or do they game on your console? And are you always there? Or are they off to the offshoot? Or is it in their bedroom? Do you know what they're playing? Do you know what they're looking at? I, for one, will tell you. I only probably know 30% of what my kids are looking at online and playing, which should really change. I, I really need to be a little more active in it, and I know that. And that's what I discussed there on Life of a Gaming Dad. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the video of the gameplay up in the corner I put. I And uh, tell me how badly I did at that. And I will see you all on the next vlog.